Aiden Booth here and in this video I'm going to show you how you go about uploading and optimizing your video. So I've logged into my CDL Training Hub um, online YouTube account and I'm just going to click this upload button. So I'll click that and I'll have to select my video to upload. Okay. You want to make sure that this stays public here. Find the video. This is my video here. Now one tip about uh, when you're uploading videos to optimize them, it's a good idea to have the name of the video as your keywords. So I've got CDL-requirements. CDL requirements is the keyword that I'm optimizing for, therefore it should be in the video file name. Okay, Select that and click choose, and that's going to start uploading. Okay. Now the next thing I want to do is start adding in a title, description, and tags. So I've prepared this beforehand. And this is my title here. So my title starts off with CDL requirements. That is my main keyword, and I want that as close to the front of the title as I can. Um, and then I've got quite a lot of other text in here as well. So I want to start looking at including secondary keywords. In this case, CDL training would be a secondary keyword. And then include as many other relevant and related keywords as I can. So things like endorsements, classes, uh, test. These are all keywords that are related to uh, CDL training. Okay. Now with the title, there are roughly 120 characters that you've got available at the moment on YouTube. So you want to try to use as many of them as you can without actually repeating yourself. Okay. Um, don't repeat words, don't make it look messy, it needs to make sense, that's very important because this is one of the things that's going to help people, um, you know, help convince people to watch your video uh, when they see it in a list of, of videos, okay? Um, it's not like Google, the, the title is not like Google, so you can actually have a long title. Now if I was trying to optimize a page in Google, sometimes I might just want to have CDL requirements as the title. Um, in this case, however, it, it pays to have uh, a long title in including other keywords as well. So the next thing we want to um, do is the description and I've got that prepared here as well. And I'm just going to paste this in here. Now the description can actually be um, up to 5,000 characters in length Okay, at the moment. This here is a look at my description. So it starts off with my main keyword right at the beginning and I want to um, make sure that I use that in the first sentence at least, okay? And not only that, but I want to have other uh, related keywords in the first sentence as well, so commercial driver license. Um, the first two sentences are pretty important because they're actually going to appear in the search results. Um, let me show you what I mean by that. So if I do a search for weight loss, and uh, what you'll see is the first couple of lines are actually displayed. So the first couple of lines there are actually displayed, and if I click on that, not only are they displayed in that description there, but they're also seen by Google's robots, and I'll show you how we know that. If I right-click on here and select Show Page Source, you'll see that the description is here. Okay, that's, that's the start of the description. Um, and then... These keywords here are what are actually going to be the tags, and we'll talk more about them in just a second. So as you can see, the dis what we have in our description is, um, is pretty important, and the first few lines are actually going to be displayed in the search results and also are going to be read by Google's robots. Okay. So since you've got 5,000 characters available to you, you really should try to use as many of them as you can because you're going to be adding unique text to the page. So I've written, I'll show you what I wrote for this. I've written quite a lot here. I've written all this, okay. And I can check how many characters that is just by pasting it into, um, pasting it into Word, going to the Tools option, going to Word Count, and we can see that characters with spaces, 2,528 characters. So I've still only used about half of um, you know what I could potentially use, but um, you know I think I'm pretty happy with that. If you can get anything over 2,000 characters, um, you're looking pretty good. So after my first two paragraphs, I then want to start 
showing people the link to my website because if I get referral traffic to my website, that's great. Okay. Um, I then go on and give more information. Um, I, I talk a little bit about the video and I, I, the the information in here is related to the topic CDL requirements, but I don't want to give them all the information because I want to, um, you know, I want to make, um, I want to actually have them watch the video. And so that's why I say, in addition to the above truck license requirements, you also need to meet strict age requirements. And, and then I do things like I say, explained in the video above and so on. Um, and I just go on to give more and more and more information. You can read this for yourself. Um, and then at the bottom, I've got a couple more links as well. So um, I've got this one here, which goes to my page um, about um, CDL requirements in your state. Um, I've got this one here, which goes to the home page. And I've also got my Facebook page linked down there as well. And further up the, up the um, description, I've got my homepage link again, and also a link to the page about CDL requirements. So the next thing that you want to add in are the tags. And I've gone ahead and I've pre-prepared my tags here. I'm going to show you how I got these tags in just a second. I just need to paste them in there, like so. And uh, with the tags, you can have a maximum of around about 28, sometimes 27, sometimes 29 uh, tags here. So you want to use as many as you can. Um, and uh, what, there are a couple of different ways you can get the tags. One is to go to the Google uh, keyword tool and just you know look for keywords that are related to your um, your video. Another one is to have a look at the the tags that other videos similar to yours are using. And uh, we can't find that out 100%, but we can get a pretty good um, good idea anyway. So if I just do a search in here, CDL requirements, um, this one here has got 47,000 views. So I can look at this guy's video and work out what some of his tags are. Now, I can't see his tags just by looking at his page. But if I go and view the page source, show page source, um, you'll see that his tags do appear here. Okay. Now, I could take them and put some of them in my video as well. If I've got tags similar to this guy's tags, there's a good chance that my video is going to show up as a related video when his video ends, okay? Um, or it might show up in the sidebar here uh, for being a related video as well. So I can do that. I can copy them in if I want to. Um, another thing that you can do sometimes, uh, and you have to be a little bit careful with copywriting, but um, I could put WA licensing, okay? That's that's this person's uh, YouTube channel name. If I was to put that in my tags, then there's a good chance my video is actually going to appear um, as a related video to this guy's videos as well. Uh, but as I say, you do have to be a little bit careful with um, you know trademarks and copyrights and stuff like that. So it's really up to you if you use that strategy. So let's count up how many I've got here. One, two, three, four, five. So at the moment I've got 29, um, and if I try to put another one in, um, let's see if I put trucking in there. Sometimes if I add another tag, it'll actually uh, it won't let me upload. But um, we'll see how that goes. Because I have got a partner account, a monetized, a monetized account, I can actually upload a custom thumbnail as well. Okay, um, just before I talk about the thumbnail, one other thing I want to mention with these tags, the order you put them in is quite important. You want to have your most important tags first because these are going to, uh, are what are going to show up as your keywords uh, when the Google robot scans your website, okay? And it's going to help you with your rankings. Um, so most important to least important. Now the custom thumbnail, um, if I wanted, I could choose you know, one of these as my thumbnails. Um, but they don't really, they're not really captivating. They're not really going to help me um, draw people in to actually look at my video. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've made this here, which is going to be my thumbnail. Okay, so when someone sees this, they're going to look at it that it's going to look professional. It says CDL requirements, and here it says six critical license components, um, and it's got a picture of a person. So it looks like um, you know someone's actually going to be speaking in the video face to face which is 
usually what people want to see, uh, and then they'll be taken to my presentation and they'll be, uh, you know, captivated and held in by the um, that professional presentation that I've made. Um, so I'm just going to click custom thumbnail, and I'm going to find my thumbnail here. It's this one here. As we can see, it's 345 kilobytes. That's the size of it, and that's fine. It has to be under, I think it was two megabytes. So that's going to upload, and as we can see, it's a nice little thumbnail um, appearing there. The next thing I need to do is choose a category. So I'm going to put this in the education category. I could um, actually I'll put in autos and vehicles. And I think I'm done. So I've got my title, I've got my description, I've got my tags. Uh, set to public, I've chosen my thumbnail, I've chosen my category, and it says it's been saved. So we should be good to go if I come to this page here. Hopefully I'll see my video if it's finished um, finished uploading. And sure enough, um, my video starts playing. So um, as you can see, it's two minutes and two seconds long, which is just fine. Um, if I come down here, I can show you the description so we can see my links have been highlighted in here. I've got lots and lots of different um, good content in here. It's in the autos and vehicles category. Uh, it looks good, it's good to go. So that, that video has now been uploaded um, and, and it's gonna be appearing in the YouTube search results very, very soon.